Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Jordan and today I am back with another video for you for Not As Home. And um, yeah, we're, we're down to the last few videos for the Maneuvering One courses. Um, the one that we're gonna be doing today is the practice exam go around the track. So it says it's gonna take about 45 minutes to do. Uh, we'll see We'll see whether or not it takes that long. But, um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get the game up on the screen and let's get started. All right, so this is the mission briefing. The scenario is called practice exam go around the track. Uh, so this is like, a, I guess, the practice run for the actual exam, which I'm assuming would be maybe the same thing. Uh, but we're going to be using Leocadia, which is great. We're very familiar with Leocadia. And it says, sail around the track and reach the finish, all without going off track or hitting any buoys off course. Since this is the practice, you can have unlimited time and you can use the orbit camera. Oh, what does that mean? Does that mean that when I do the actual exam, I have to do it from the bridge view? That's interesting because I've been not using Bridgeview at all. Um, interesting. <laughs> all right, so yeah, we have objectives this time, um, different checkpoints to reach, and then a finish line. This is what the map looks like. We're going to take a starboard turn, then a port turn, port again, starboard. I mean, I doubt we have to do this. We could probably just like sail in and then go around. Um, Okay, and then we're doing this crazy S-turn stuff here, and then this, and this. All right, it looks like we have other ships docked around this space too. Anyways, this is gonna be interesting. Let me see how we do. And I'm gonna use the orbit camera because, you know, I'm used to it. And this is not my U UI layout. Uh, Okay, so I accidentally m overwrote my uh, UI layout, so I had to fix all of that. But I'm also noticing we don't have access to the chart on this one, so we're just going to have to wing it. Um, but it looks like there's some nice directional things all around. And um, yeah, this is the training area map, I'm pretty sure. Um, but let's get started. Let's see how I do. Uh, this is Leocadia, so we're going to be using rudder controls. Got to keep that in mind. And I just came, I just finished doing the sailing through Sydney scenario, the exploration scenario. So I'm a little bit thinking that the ship's going to respond immediately when I hit, hit the th thrust. So I'm just going to take it easy, you know? Um, yeah, I'm just going to take it a bit easier here. But let's crank this up and get a turn going. Probably get us going a couple knots. Okay, so I just kind of want to point the ship this way, and then once we get there, I just want to turn it. We should be good now. I'm just going to straighten the rudder out and give it some thrust forward. We're going two knots already. You know, I think the actual exam is going to be timed as well, which you know, that gives me anxiety just thinking about it. Um, so I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can without totally fu uh, messing up. I almost said a much worse word there, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to like kind of keep my speed going a little bit quicker than I normally would um, and see how that goes. But we're going 3.8 knots right now. I think that's good enough right now. Alright, once we get closer to this buoy, I'm going to throw the bow thruster on to get us turning 
back to the port side and then I'll also turn the rudder uh, and give it some more thrust. Uh, just I want to get past the buoy first before I do that, at least get the bow past and then I'll start forcing it to turn. Looks like we have wind on the map too, so I am being blown to the uh, uh, the port side. All right, let me get the turn going here. I'm just going to try and slow us down slightly just uh, because I know the bow thruster it kind of decreases in its um, power when you're going higher speeds so I'm going to bring us down to like 2.5 2 knots yeah and then we're going to start turning once again I slowed us down way way more than I intended to but that's okay uh we should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna cut the thrust because I don't want the stern going off, but it looks like we're we're almost there. We're we're pretty much there, so let me straighten everything out. Uh let's just reset. Okay, I'm gonna go full ahead. And I'm going to turn the rudder slightly to counter the port turn here, because uh, we want to go this way. Alright, so this part's going to be a little bit tricky. Start the start the port turn now. I'm going to crank up the thrust to increase the the turn rate.
Okay, so I'm going 5 knots, which I know is a dangerous speed to be going at uh, towards buoys. So I'm going to start giving myself some reverse thrust here. And we're going to engage the bow thrusters. And yeah, let's just get us slowed down a bit. At least to like 2 knots, because uh, yeah, we're getting... We're, we're moving close to this now. Probably gonna want to go a little bit further down, actually. Uh, maybe get it to a knot. Okay, I'm gonna cut the engine. That should be enough. The bow thruster should be able to move us quick enough. Uh, let me straighten this out so that the stern stops moving. We're still sort of like sliding towards the buoys, but I hope that it's gonna stop. It might be due to the wind. Mm, maybe not. Oh yeah, it is due to the wind. But the wind's not going that hard, it's just, but you know, it is still contributing. All right, I'm gonna give it a little more thrust, get us going, maybe to two knots, 2.5 at the most. And we should cut this uh, bow thruster now. This is quite a tight turn right here, so I'm just going to let the ship go forward a bit, then I'm going to get it turning. Um, probably use the bow thrusters for this primarily, but uh, I will start off. Actually, let's do, the, let's do it this way, just to get the turn going, uh, get the stern swinging this way, and then I'll finish with the bow thruster. I don't want to give myself too much speed. I'm actually already going 3.3 uh, .3 knots, so I'm going to stop the engine, turn the bow thrusters on. Actually, I'm going to reverse the engine a bit to get the speed back down because I don't like that.
Alright, so that should be enough to get us past that buoy here. And I want to drift us forward a bit, and then we're going to engage the bow thruster the opposite way. Uh, that one, so this looks a little easier. Once I get the bow turned this way, then um, we should be able to just go straight through and then out this way. I feel stressed though. <laughs> this, this isn't fun, this is stressful. <laughs> like putting all of the skills to the test now, man. Alright, I'm going to engage the bow thruster just to get the this rate of turn down back the opposite way. Uh, because we don't need to be turning any further towards starboard. Um, I should also maybe engage the rudder and just to swing the stern. Okay, let's... Let's get serious now. stop uh, the reverse. Alright, I'm going to kill the bow thruster, start stopping this turn and going ahead again. Yeah, we just need to go ahead, kind of do a small turn to starboard, and then port turn again. Alright, this should be good. Uh, I should have enough turn to go forward and clear this buoy, and then I'll be doing the port turn. Uh, I can stop, uh, stop the rudder now. Actually, once I go forward a bit, I could probably swing the rudder the opposite way and uh, use that to get me into this turn here. All 
All right, yeah, I'm gonna initiate that now. I'm going to use the bow thruster as well, and I'm going to cut the engine. We're at four knots. I'm going to have to reverse it to slow me down. Actually, I'm going to reverse it to slow me down. I hope it's okay that I go past this arrow a little bit, because that's definitely looking like what's going to happen here. I think it's okay as long as I don't hit this, right? Alright, so one more really sharp, tight turn here, uh, and then it looks like it's a straightaway before one final turn. Uh, we're getting close to the end. That's, uh, that's a relief. I'm gonna let myself drift a little bit. We're going two knots. Actually, let me power the engine up. Uh, I do have the rudder already turned to go back to do this turn, um, but I'm gonna go a small, like I'm, I'm gonna go a, a little speed. I'm gonna go a low speed, uh, drift forward, and then I'm gonna crank it up to increase the turn. Basically, I'm just trying to counter the, the starboard turn because I don't wanna swing the bow too far this way. I wanna keep it this way and then I'm gonna swing and do the turn so hopefully that makes sense actually I'm getting to the point now where I'm gonna give it some thrust and start turning it to the port side
All right, I can't let the thrust go. I can't let the speed go too high here. So I'm gonna stop the engine and turn on the bow thruster. Just to be safe, I'm actually gonna re reverse the engine and, and turn the rudder the opposite way uh, to deepen this turn. I'm gonna get myself down to like 1.5 knots. There we go, looking good. Just gonna wait for the bow to th turn. We're almost there, almost there. Uh, oh, I have the engine reversed, that's why. I was wondering why my speed's dropping so low. But that's okay, once this bow gets a little bit further to the port here, I'm gonna start giving myself forward thrust. Uh, it seems like the stern is also still moving this way, which is a little bit concerning. Yeah, it says it's turning one knot, so I'm gonna see if I can counter that a little bit. Um, actually, we, we look like we're good. We're, we're, I think we're good. Uh. All right, I need to stop that thruster, give it some speed ahead. Alright, I'm gonna get, get the ship up to like 10 knots and then I'm gonna cut the engine back and let myself start to drop the speed because I have one last turn to make here and uh, I don't think it's... I don't think it's wise to be going into that full speed, so...
Actually, let me start turning. I might have messed up. I messed up. Dang. All right, I'm actually really happy with how this went. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this went. Um, as you can see, I got 80 out of 100, um, but I failed to reach the end because I got too confident at the end and let myself go too quick. Um, but, you know, I think I'm ready to take on the exam, so rather than redo this again, uh, the practice, I think I'm gonna just do the exam, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, um, in any case, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you did want to see me successfully do this, uh, I might do that if, uh, if enough people ask for the successful upload, but otherwise, check out the exam when I post it. If you want to stay on top of my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. That's the best way to do it. Uh, also, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think, and be sure to like the video to let me know that you're enjoying it. But until next time, thank you so much for tuning in, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care.